What's up there guys, Gareth William 414 here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. And in today's video, I've got something a little different from what I usually do. I was looking through eBay, uh, just at some like random Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, looking for deals as you do. And I came across these awesome books from 2003, official strategy guides. I've got the official Prima uh, trading card game rulebook for Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, as well as that, I got the official trading card game catalog check these out i could not i didn't know these things existed and i was just like what i got these for an absolute insane price as well i got them for like less than 10 pounds which was like absolutely crazy so i thought you know what what i'd do is i'd do a, a, a video on them and show you guys you know like what what they're like and you know what what's inside them um but what i'll do is i'll split the videos into two to save it being an ultra long video so i'll do the rule book in this video and then uh next week i will post the the video for the catalog as well um so yeah check that out look at the artwork on that it's so like old school as well this was like very like beginning when Yu Gi Oh first came out so i would have been like like a, a youngling uh this is the back as well so you've got like yugi there that was like 14.99 like it's like dollars as well it's so good so in here what we've got detailed explanation of official rules question and answers got a deck construction workshop to help build your oh. <laughs> so we've got a deck construction workshop to help build the ultimate card deck a uh, sample deck collection for your reference and comprehensive glossary of dual terms which is absolutely insane but before I get into the book, guys, you know, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts on this uh, uh, this <laughs> this rule book is, like the biggest one we've ever had. And, um, you know, uh, share the video with a friend, anyone that loves Yu-Gi-Oh! And subscribe for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. So with that being said, let's... Uh Let's get in the book. I think what I'll do is I'll just keep just flicking through pages and just show you um, what's going on. But obviously, like you've got your contents there. And one of the things that I really love about this book is like the you know, the the artwork in it as well. We've always got like massive pictures of like the, like card artworks and things like that. It's just really well well done kind of thing. Obviously, like Reaper of the Cards here. So you know, this one's basically just a, a, an overview of the game, like teaching about the basics. You know what the game's about. Um, what are trading cards is actually one of the questions there, which is you know pretty cool. Uh, official rules got about preparing your deck, a bit about gameplay there. So this is basically just a brief explanation. Um, here we have um, how to battle, winning a duel. So it's basically explaining how how we actually win a game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Obviously, if you're watching this, I'm sure you pretty much know. But it's awesome to see this. Um, next, it goes into the phases of gameplay. So it starts with uh, your, your draw phase, standby phase, main phase, battle phase. Which is really cool, and it's obviously got your standards here uh, going on about like attack values, uh, uh, attack position, defense position, which looks really cool. And it's really cool that they're using like all these old school artworks as well. I've got a like, Celtic Guardian there, uh, Mammoth Graveyard, Summon School. It's just so cool. Uh, let's have a look at what we've got here. Yes, it's still more about phases here. Uh, next up, it goes on to explain about like cards. So obviously you can see the Red Eyes Black Dragon here. It's got like the monster name, attribute, level, type, card description, attack and defense points. And same again with like uh, spell cards. But uh, here we go. So yeah, 20 different monster types. The 20 different monsters? Oh yes, it goes on like attributes and things there. See, even I was like, like frozen there for a second. Making that sound like I'm the best in the world. I'm not. Uh, here we go. There's a bit more I explaining about like monster types in this little table here. And it goes on to spell card types, uh, trap cards. It talks about fusion monsters here as well. It's even got like a fusion procedure making like flame swordsman. It still still grinds me to this day that the flame swordsman is a fusion card uh, when in the show he wasn't. So it makes like running a Joey character deck just like s stupid because like. Of, of that I'd just like this guy's a vanilla please <laughs> maybe one day maybe one day uh, then we've got like uh, they're talking about the field and what everything is and it's so cool because obviously they're using like the absolute original original play map that you used to get in those starter deck Yugi and Kybers which is awesome uh, they're here they have like a, a check out a sample duel so obviously they're like it's, it's just a scripted duel which is you know really cool and massive mystic uh, tomato there uh, next, they go on about like side decks. Still, yeah, it's still that sample duel. I'll keep flicking through this so you can check out the, like, the awesome artwork. Red Geki there, like absolute bossed. The masks as well. It's just like, yes, a very long sample duel. 
What I like about this actually is like, I was just reading here, like the scriptedness, they're actually like trash talking each other, and <laughs> which is really, really awesome. What I might do then, in fact, like I hope I could find like what decks they use and just recreate it. I think that would just be for my own personal sake rather than anyone else's, but yeah, it'd be quite funny. And yeah, keep going into that duel there, let me keep flicking. Uh, the Duelist Bible, watch how other people play. Tip, carefully observing others is the first step in improvement. That's awesome. Cool. So it goes on a bit about like, uh, like you know, common trades. Um, let's have a look. What have we got here? Uh, it goes a bit into like summoning like higher level monsters. And here we go. Choose a worthwhile attack goal. So it goes on about like uh, defense uh, and attack position there again, and it goes about like face downs. And uh, here, which is really cool, is like level four and under monsters with the highest attack. So it gives you like, um, you know, I can't remember what set this probably goes up to. Obviously, we've got like Fairy Servant there, so maybe it's Fairy Servant. Uh, but it goes through like what the best cards were back then, you know, for their, their type. So these these were the best level four monsters with the highest attack back then. Uh, obviously, Goblin Attack Force, Jirai Gumo. I, I definitely used to run Jirai Gumo. Let me know in the comment section below. What, back in the day, what kind of like monsters did you run in in your deck? I was very much, uh, very much like into this like high level level fours and just like take my opponent out really quickly. But yeah, I definitely remember running Gemini Elf, Harpy's Brother when it was Harpy's Brother, Legion, yeah, anything with like 1,800 attack. I definitely ran Seven Colored Fish. I remember that. I think I ran three Seven Colored Fish, in fact. And we got top five fusion monsters with the highest attack back then. Black School Dragon at number one. That's awesome. And then top ten monsters with the highest attack. Gate Guardian. Uh, obviously the blue eyes, Cosmo, Qu oh, Cosmo Queen. I remember Cosmo Queen. This is like so much nostalgia and just like me just freaking through these. Uh, Trihorn Dragon, yes, I remember. Labyrinth Wall, I remember that. That was like an absolute beast. That was like the first one of the first cards uh, to have like such a high defense. Like loads of people around that, which was just really annoying. And obviously you had Millennium Shield as well with the uh, the three thousand defense as well. Uh, useful monster cards. So this goes on to talk a little bit about like effects, uh, like effects monsters. Obviously you got Cyberjar there, the infamous, infamous Jinzo, uh, Summon Skull, a favorite of mine. I love that picture of like Grave Robber, that looks so sweet. Okay, next it goes to talk about the most useful spell and trap cards. Uh, and yeah, definitely, I think I ran every one of these. Yeah, I ran every one of these, especially Axe of Despair. Uh, of course, because I used to run a lot of level four high, high, high attack monsters. I'd always smash Axe of Despair on them as well, just to, like beef them up. Mirror Force, of course. Everyone ran Mirror Force and Solemn Judgment. Amazing. Uh, next up, we go to talk about like combos and stuff, which is cool. Recycle Raigeki combo with Magician of Faith, of, of course. Awesome. Zombie Raigeki combo. That's so cool. I need to have a proper read through this book. If you can find this, I mean, obviously I found out on eBay, so I can't leave a link in the description because I haven't seen it. I, I, you know, to be honest, I didn't know these existed, but definitely worth picking up, especially for like nostalgia reasons. But I'll just keep quickly, I'll just flick through now so you guys can see it rather than me just like chatting about it. Because <laughs> the video's getting on. Here we go. DNA surgery and insect barrier combo. Awesome, the weevil lock. Populated Sisters combo, so good. Uh, deck construction workshop. So this part of the, the book just uh, gives you hints and tips on how to like construct your deck to make it like the best it can be, um, which I could have done with back then. So I literally just loaded my deck with, you know, before I went into the like the high powered level fours, I just loaded my deck with cards that, yeah, I I, I, I thought were awesome. So it didn't flow very well. Later later on, I I, I worked out that flowing, you know, a forty card deck is better than a eighty sixty something deck with just like loads of cards I like. It's like I've got so many level 7 monsters in here because I like them. Not because they're useful, but I like them. <laughs> uh, here we go, so we've got a sample deck, so it gives you like the Yugi deck in here. And I believe this is the um, the actual structure deck, which is awesome. But it's not, it's not, I tell a lie. They've got their own version of a Yugi deck in there, because I've just seen Buster Blader there. That's awesome. So this is what they would have as a Yugi deck. That's really cool. I might build that. They've got some character decks in here. I had no idea. What is this? We've got Kybers, Joeys, Weevils. They've got Pegasus as well. I don't know how accurate they are to the anime, but I will check that out. That's awesome. We've got Mako Tsunamis. 
What? They got like yeah, like a burning decks. So they got like 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 styles of decks as well as the character decks. But that's awesome. Dragon Tamer deck, Chick Metal deck. That's that that's that's impressive. Clothing party deck. <laughs> I love this guy here as well. He's awesome. Flying fish. Got now I've got an Exodia deck in there as well. That's cool. A ritual deck. Yeah, I used to like the ritual gods back then. Uh, Secret Garden deck, Unlimited Firepower deck. They've got some really cool names. I wish I'd named my deck when I was younger. I think it was just deck. <laughs> uh, we've got questions and answers here as well, which is really cool. I'm guessing they're like really simple. Does a monster have to attack if it's the attack position? Yeah, so it's like really simple question and answers just to like kind of iron out everything that hadn't been covered in the rules. Uh, that can actually quite a few players, um, pages of this. Oh, they've got intermediate questions as well. Can I use Beast Face? So it's like actually like specific card questions in here as well. It's really cool. May have to give this a read to uh, stop any misplays in these character decks. <laughs> uh, okay, so they've got monster card rulings as well, which is really cool. That's awesome. Like Catapult Turtle. That's cool. Sorry, I was just reading that there. Just interesting. So, yes, yeah, so the next few pages are just going to be about that. Such a cool thing. Oh god, Penguin Knight. I remember Penguin Knight. I used to run Penguin Knight just because I liked the penguins. <laughs> God damn my naivety. God damn my youth. Giant flea. Yeah, so I believe the rest of the book's just like kind of questions and answers. Which it looks like. But hey, the artwork on it is cool. I mean, even just like mega, like mega morph, like artwork there looks really cool. The original 5Ds, right there. <laughs> Course. Massive Karibo. Yeah, and I think that's getting to the end of it. Yeah, it was just questions and answers to finish, which is fair fares. That's also awesome. now available trading card catalog. That's how I'll, that's how I'll <laughs> that's how I'll finish this video for next time. But there we go, guys. Um, <laughs> different kind of video there. I, and thank you very much for watching it if you have. I thought I'd put it up there. I thought this was a really cool find. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, I, I need this. I need to have it. It's just, and I, it's, it's awesome. I can't wait to just sit down and properly go through it. It's like so much nostalgia there. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts on this was. And, uh, you know, if you've got any nostalgic kind of feels from this. Uh, and don't forget, if you enjoyed it as well, to uh, hit that thumbs up button, share the video with a friend, and subscribe for more awesome Yu Gi Oh! videos. I will have the card catalogue coming next week so stay tuned for that and until next time guys i will see you in the next video take care